Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Cyberpunk. Today, we're going to be hitting up Denny's Mansion to see if we can get Samurai back together for one last gig. Um, one other thing that I wanted to try to get done this part was to give this side gig a go. They don't seem to take particularly long, um, and it seems to be just steal a car. Um, difficulty is saying hi but I reckon we can probably handle it. So I'm going to do that first because I feel like meeting all the band, I feel like the meeting itself isn't going to take too long. Whatever happens afterwards, probably, but uh, I feel like we could probably leave that a little bit. So how far do we have to go? 3k. Uh, yeah, I can, I can drive that. One thing that uh, popped up that... I only realized. I don't know if it'll actually show it. Uh... Oh, it, well, it doesn't necessarily throw it. So, I got an achievement pop-up when I closed the game last time round, and it was that I had got max street cred. So, apparently, the maximum amount of street cred, max street cred level, for want of a better expression, is 50. So, I'm assuming the level cap is also probably going to be 50. Um, not that I think we're going to hit that, but um, just a point to make, with having maximum street cred, that probably means we have access to all of the side gigs, because I think your street cred is what affected which gigs were available to you and which ones weren't. So now that we've hit max, I suppose everything available on the map now means that's everything, I assume. I'm not 100% on that. I would, I, I, well, there might be some that are level capped as opposed to street cred capped, but uh, I'm going to work off the assumption that I could probably have access to all of the side gigs at this point in time. Uh, obviously, there are some side gigs that are gated by previous gigs being done. Like, for example, this one we'd be waiting on, uh, Killing in the Name with Nancy obviously we couldn't do until we had met Nancy with the gig we had just done with uh I missed my turn off oh no I didn't um couldn't possibly have done that until we had gone to the totem tents and met Nancy whoa that dude's taking a wild swing out uh so some of them are gated by prior quests so obviously there are some that may still pop up after we do certain things which would be interesting to see if anything new comes up soon enough that's the turn we needed to take. I actually man managed to make it. Okay, we're nearly there now. That actually gave me a little bit of time to talk about the stuff I wanted to talk about. Ooh, uh, oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. So we need to go to the Valentino's Auto Shop. Um, if I remember right, the Valentino's is the group that um, Jackie was a part of once upon a time. And I feel like the Valentino's are who hangs out at... Uh, Mama Wells Bar. Uh, what was it? El Coyote Coco? I think. I'm probably still butchering the pronunciation of that, but I'm giving it my best go, so I apologise if it's atrocious. Okay, we're just about there. So we get there, we take stock of the place, see what we're up against. Why are you... Just stay there for a second, pal. Thank you. It's down this way. Oh, it must be in here. You fucked up. Ah, mierda. He's my chungo. Back it up. Exactly. Ah, come on. Come on, I gotta do it now. No, no. I don't need you, it's just... Okay, fine. Good. He's your tomb after all. Alright. You got to tomorrow. I don't know what they're talking about, but it might be important. These are actually just civilians, so they're nothing to worry about. Oh, hey, look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm not going to try to sneak by them. I reckon I could find a way in. Yeah, the whole wall broken down back here. Okay. Go. Here we go. Right, turn off. Enjoying the weather? 
This person is looking directly at me. And why were you fighting? Be a big boy like your brother and let your sister. Okay. okay, you're just gonna continue looking right at me, so I need to distract you with something. Don't have a whole lot to work with, though. Maybe that? I feel like that's too far away. Oh, the car. That'll do. Really? Wait. How was that? Well, the thing is, we're not actually in hostile territory. Oh, she's moving. She's moving. She's moving. We're good. You don't seem to be paying attention at all, so we might be able to just slip by. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. I'll take it, but I don't think I'll use it. There's actually there's a camera here that I'm concerned about. Is that it? Yeah. So I want to turn that off. I didn't get it. There we go. Okay, back in. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. There's definitely going to be people in here. I guarantee you. Oh, well, there's the Militech SUV. That's what we're looking for. Is there actually nobody here? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's your back to me, though. Another dude down the back. I don't know. If it's three or is that Outside two? Town. Yeah, okay. No, that's two. Okay, where are you going, Sunshine? Okay, she's going away. That is my chance to take her, though, so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna drop you here, non lethally. I like the Valentinos, I don't wanna get in their bad side. Oh, he's, he's on the move. Okay, that should be good. We've got our cold blood, so we've got the movement speed. Take him. I'm gonna put you in the box. You'll find your way out eventually. Okay. I think we're pretty safe now. Max stock, thank you. We're gonna have to open this door to get out. And it's probably just going to be a kind of a smash and go kind of job. Oh shit. I want to see if I can take him. Yeah, I can. Okay, you're going down. Excellent. Okay, we got a safe. Money. Yeah, absolutely. Frag grenade. Yes, please. Uh, is there anything on this? Messages. For Brian Conroy to Mauricio Camo. You blind motherfuckers. Hey, fuckfaces, you were supposed to clean the ride after the last gig. I asked you if you checked under the seats, didn't I? Didn't I? And you said, yeah, yeah, you'll lick it clean, there won't be a trace, and guess what? There fucking is. I checked under the seat yesterday, and you know what I found? Pieces of fucking brain. I could be wrong, but last time I checked, motherfucking pieces of brain don't fit under the motherfucking category spotless, do they? Someone's a bit pissed. Archive conversation, Alfonso Infante and Pedro Luna. We want to stop him on the road, like he's getting a speeding ticket. Chum, I can't this time. We can't use those Militech fans. Can't even touch them. Pay's good, bro. We just make him pull over and that's it. He'll think we're from Militech. We put him in the car, take care of him, bring the car back in the even. Fine. But it's got to be back in the garage, spotless by evening. Bro, when do I let you down? Just grab him, drop it off. Easy as pie. We got last warning from Sebastian Ibarra, whose name I recognize, to Mauricio Camo. I know, I know you how you treated the nomads. That's not how we do things. Luckily, you still have a chance to fix it. Blow yourself, Grandpa. Oh, biz with nomads. I asked nicely. Forgive me, Lord, for what I'm about to do. Okay, that's interesting. So there's, 
there's some beef going down. That was a big bang. I didn't didn't mean that. Okay, I think I think at this point we're just gonna. Oh, is that money? Yes, it is. I think at this point we're just gonna grab and go. Oh, I don't have the technical ability to open that door, which is unfortunate. Distract. Uh, Armor item components. Hand fan. Was oh, a door here? Okay, that just leads straight back out. Do you know what? I am not getting involved in that. Okay, here we go. Get in. Okay, open and let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! I really hope they're not chasing me. <laughs> I think we got away scot-free, actually. That worked out exceptionally smoothly, and I am really happy about that. Whoa! Driving on the wrong side of the road. Can't really see a gap to get back in. That'll do. Oh, I just drove past where I was trying to go anyway. No, they don't seem to have followed me at all. Dude, get out. Don't. Here we go, lads. Park in the garage. Yo. There you go, lads. Oh, this is a job for the Elder Caldos. Nice. Why do you need the rig? Fucking love that Corpo Sheik. Hmm. Wait, seriously? Who guards the border? Well, Militech. Now connect the dots. <laughs> so it's... The hell were you thinking? Solo making an exchange with the Valentinos? I wasn't alone. Well, what mm -hmm. happened? The motherfucker set a trap. That's what happened. Fucking Tinos. And this surprises you. Man, whatever. I'm out of here. Worst trip to the city ever. Well, job done. And that was, if I may say so, pretty goddamn smooth. Hi, oh, that's... Mm, there we go. The nomads are grateful for your help. Contract closed. That's where I knew the name Ibarra from. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with that. And it wasn't as difficult as I expected. Uh, this one is still very high, so I might hold on to that one. So we're definitely going to go to Denny's Mansion. Car's going to come over that way. Stuck in traffic. It's actually being mounted by another car. Nice one. Alright, let's go. Three and a half K to get to where we're going. But I'm hoping it's mainly mainly highway because I remember it being Well actually I don't. I don't remember where it was because I don't think I looked. Uh Oh, okay, yeah. Uh actually it's yeah, it's near Carrie's. Oh, wait. What? Why? Why is it the Arasaka estate? Interesting. Well, let's go find out. It shouldn't take too long. I think the trip to where we were going just now actually took a surprisingly little amount of time so it shouldn't shouldn't be too bad shouldn't take too long to get where we want to go that's a problem oh that was tight 
That was way too close. I can't see anything because of the sun. There we go. Squeeze through there? Yeah, we can. Thanks, man. Sometimes it seems like the cars actually slightly move out of the way, and then sometimes it seems like they actually move into my way. <laughs> I never really know what to expect. Squeeze through here. Thank you. Thank you. We're actually driving directly towards it, so if there was actually nothing in the way, we'd be there in no time. Fortunately, it looks like we've got a lot of buildings in the way. As much as I'd love to just power through them, it is not an option. Didn't really want to go flying over that ramp, so I had to slow down. That's cool. I don't know what it is, but it looked cool. Okay, looks like we're going to be taking a turn to the right. It's a roundabout, so it should be all one way. I hope. There we go. Okay, I think this leg of the journey is actually the longest because it's such winding roads. Like, there's absolutely no straight or direct to destination roads. It's all windy and uphill and just a just a nightmare. Let me take the inside. <gasps> Sorry. And the drive had gone so smooth up until ooh, this point. <laughs> Okay, nearly there. Nearly there. Poor crime. It's fine, I don't particularly care too much right now. Man, coming out of that too fast with the sun in your eyes, you are destined to go over the side of that cliff. <laughs> okay, okay. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. I love that all the mansions are like positioned on like the highest points around the area so that it can just look over the city. You know, the whole concept of the wealthy looking down upon their minions, that kind of thing. <laughs> I love that that's kind of the suggestion here with the mansions being up high altitude locations. Here we go. See those? Uh, what happened here? She must have been renovating. Henry must have borrowed the truck. Gonk always was good at improvising. Maybe they're home. Try the intercom. That I will. Are they talking about that truck? It doesn't really look like a truck, to be honest with you. Whoa, put the gun away, V. Ding dong. Nope. Right there. Guess we keep looking. Okay, well, let's find ourselves a way in. I mean, I probably could just, yeah, could just hop that. But it leaves me a lot of distance to cover to get to the actual house, so I would like to find potentially a, well, this, this could be the option. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, that's a person. There's Danny. Okay, well... Here's what we do then. We're just gonna hop over from here. You fucking girl? Oh. Who boy? Danny, what? Sounds sadly for What are you doing here? This is really your house? This is your fucking pool? You're gonna pay for this, you piece of shit! Oh. Too bad I will. Just so I can come back again. Oh boy. Maybe then, you'll tell me why the hell you left me to die in the street! Yikes. Left you to die? Ugh, I wish you would fucking die! Why am I even standing here talking to you? 
Now I see the problem. Henry's a bit of a fucking maniac. Can I go into the house? No, it's locked. But that is a lot of yikes. Uh, good you're here. We got a problem. Yeah, I can see that. Get the fuck out! Oh, she's got a bat. What now? Already? No grand tour. Introduce me to the fam. Go Carrie, anywhere near them and you're dead. Why did you let him do this? I kid you not, I'm a whack your fucking head off. Is this supposed to be Henry's surprise? Oh, yeah, I obviously missed know. a few beats. Looks like don't he know was what some sort of grudge. that I lost years of so my life. So he flooded the pool with concrete. Henry did often get yeah. emotional. Do you know what That's this is all about? You know what happened between them? Remember From I what I've come to understand, you. one day Denny disappeared without a word, then hid from Henry. I imagine that wasn't too hard in his state of mind, either out of it or in rehab. Yep. That is, till I gave Henry her address. So what does this mean for the concert? What about the concert? Haven't gotten a chance to ask Denny yet. Doesn't look no, good, though. No, it does not. <laughs> hey, talk to them. Carrie will just make it worse. Uh, not really my biz. Go, go. They'll get past it in a sec. <sighs> Carrie didn't piss all over himself out of joy when he saw me either. Asking a lot here, Johnny. This your backup? In case you forgot why the hell you came here in the first place? Carrie sent me. Jesus, you concert. look rough, dude. What concert? Why isn't he here talking to me? Look, it's awkward. Carrie considers you both friends. What a sensitive guy. Shit. Given he's the one who set this flaming turd bag on my doorstep. Okay, so the deal is we're reuniting Samurai. We're bringing back one Samurai. Gig. One night only. That's what he wants to get the crew together for? Sweet, but no fucking way. Not about to play with this shit stick. Danny! No, no way. Either him or me. Choose. Danny digs in her heels. We're done. How's it going? Like shit, man. Danny wants me out of the gig. And we already agreed on everything! What? Carrie's paying you? That's what this is about? Fuck. It's all fucking great. So you get him away from me and get the fuck off my lawn! Don't make me choose. Uh... V? Yeah, why Help did you out, do this, please. Henry? You out of your fucking mind with the pool? You knew. Carrie wanted to get Danny to play with us. Just wanted to clear the air. Fucking Prem. <sighs> yeah, maybe if I knew what happened. Maybe if someone would tell me what happened. Are you blind? Fucker filled no, my pool with no, cement. No, not that. Maybe he had a good reason. The original reason. Really? A reason? <sighs> Pretty sure it's your call. Fuck really pisses me off. Denny's on a control kick, setting conditions. On the other hand, Henry's got scop for brains. Can't trust him. Thanks. Real helpful. Gotta go without one or the other. Uh, yeah, not a problem. Should be able to borrow someone else for one gig. Won't be the same, though. It won't ever be the same, Carrie. Oh, this is a hard choice. Like, for one, I don't know what either of them play. I'm assuming... Well, I'm assuming plan? Denny was keyboard and uh, Henry was drums. As stereotypical as this sounds, Henry definitely oh, strikes me as the drummer type. Um, which one of those is more important to the band? I would say, for hard rock, the drummer. But he's, f he's a fucking lunatic. What are we doing? I... I don't want it, but he's, he kind of fits directly into the attitude, the no fucks given, wreck Help the shop this, kind of thing. I don't know. And I don't like her setting conditions on how this works. I, I don't well, like that. If she doesn't want it, then it's fine. We'll move on. 
play with Henry. I'm probably gonna regret this, but let's play with Henry. Better jam with Henry. I got exactly no problem with Denny joining us. Should have thought of that sooner. Now get the fuck out of my sight, all of you. Fuck. Now I gotta find someone to clean this up. What about Nance? She on board? Yep. Putting it all together. So give us a holler when it's all set. Nancy taking care of business. Just like old times. Can I? Ooh. Yes. Infused with okay, Denny's rage. High chance now. to apply bleeding, low chance Except to apply to wait for Nancy to call. What a surprise. We're going to be waiting for someone's call again. Sorry it played out like that. Fuck. I got no idea who you are or why you stepped into all this. So save your breath and go, okay? Wonder what Henry did to her. Think Denny had a good reason to turn drama monger? She's not such a raging bitch normally, so... Oof, harsh. Doubt it was about the concrete in the pool. Actually kind of funny, that. I mean, I'd love to know how you even got the truck in. Oh. <laughs> now I see how he got the truck in. He just reversed it through the fucking wall. Okay. Alright, well, I'm sorry, Denny. I... If you weren't setting so many conditions like that, maybe I would have considered it. And you seem like a much more level-headed person than Henry. But, unfortunately, this time around I had to pick him. He just... The crazy, batshit, insane attitude just kind of fits with Johnny and the whole mentality of the band a bit better. So I'm sorry. I really am. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, that hole. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't see that. Can I actually go into the house? No, it's all locked up. Okay. Look, maybe in an ideal world, I want both of them. It's not quite samurai if someone's not there. So in an ideal world, we could have both. But unfortunately, I had to make a decision. I don't feel good about the decision, but it's the decision nonetheless. Um... Ooh. If I do that, can I... Oh, it's only just the one. I thought I might be able to uh, flit around cameras in it. Okay, job updated, second conflict. Uh, I, sp it's, I suppose it's just finished with being done. Let's give this a go while we're waiting for Nancy to call. I've gone on the wrong side of the car again. Okay. Let's skedaddle. Um, if it looks like it's... If it looks like we run out of stuff to do, I will just manually wait and pass time. So... <sighs> I really... There's a part of me that's really hoping that by picking one, the other will come around. I, like, I really want Denny to come around and be a part of it. Obviously, I don't really know much about either people. Uh, so it's a, it's a really hard decision. Ah! It's a really hard decision to actually make, not knowing a thing about either of them or what the other person has done to the other. So, I would have preferred to have had a bit more background knowledge on both of them before I made a choice. But, hey ho, look, we. We've made the decision. I'm trying to convince myself now to just move on from it because I'm still, I'm still not happy with my own decision. Actually, out of curiosity, this car, two hundred twenty-five thousand. We have one hundred fifty-five. Okay, I do really want it. It looks amazing. <laughs> just, I just can't can't get over how good it looks. But maybe I'll save up for it. It would be, like, uh, there's a part of me that's, like, half expecting us to get to, like, get to the next part of the, uh, this quest line, and, like, the gig just never happens. Like, everything falls apart, everything goes to shit, and the gig just never happens, and I'm left really disappointed. I'm completely expecting that to be a possibility. 
I don't want it to happen, but I'm expecting it. I think this one I'm going to is one I picked up a long, long time ago, and uh, I was really interested in doing it because it was about, like, someone was lying to the press, or someone had been... So it would have been done over because of propaganda or something along those lines. I can't remember exactly word for word what it was, but it it sounded really cool to me. I might just check the journal real quick when we get there just to remind myself exactly what the situation is. But I, I definitely remember this being a gig that I really wanted to do and couldn't because we tried to sneak in and they were extremely strong. <laughs> I think it was actually like... I think it was actually like Militech or the police or something like that, so... So if I can, I want to do it without being seen, without killing anyone. Preferably. Bump up on the left here. There is a lot of traffic here. Excuse me guys. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me, guys. Thank you. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. Okay, let's remind ourselves. Something's rotten in the city of dreams. A series of suicides, a rash of self-destruction. The contagion mostly targets politicians, corpos, journalists, and police officers. The latest victim was Zola Barnes, a journalist who fell onto the tracks at Memorial Station. Her death was officially ruled a suicide, but Byron's parents say that she went to meet one of her informants at the station and that she never would have taken her own life. I know, I know, that's what all parents say. Seems like the jury's still out. Nobody really knows what happened because every last shred of CCTV footage was wiped clean. Her parents tracked down the witnesses, but they didn't want to talk, and what's more, Militech took a keen interest in the whole thing. It's our turn to make heads or tails of this. Head to the station, breach the servers, and download any CCTV related files. I'll have my code monkeys try to recover the deleted footage. P.S. Oh, and by the way, at the time, Zola was working on a piece about Brad Norwood, a Militech fanboy in the Night City Council. Anyways, looks that piece is never getting published. P.P.S. Transferring you Militech authorization that'll get you into the station. That's. I remember now. I remember now. The area is now hostile. Okay, so let's just tag up these guys. Okay. None of them are looking at me. This dude is catching up. This this dude is. Okay, so I need to distract him. That'll be fine. There we go. Okay, we got a dude, like, we got a dude, like, right here. Panacea, I don't know what that is. Militech Sergeant number 7773. We have Edith Kutaga in custody, waiting further orders. Militech Major, do you confirm she was wearing a listening device? Confirmed. Understood. Eliminate Edith Kutaga for terrorist activity motivated by anti-corporate and anti-capitalist ideologies. Copy that. I feeling that might be the body bag. Area secure. Okay, he's gonna turn back around. There's also a dude over here that I need to watch out for. Can't quite tag him though. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Fuck. Okay, drop him here, drop him here. As good as we're gonna get. I got nowhere to put it. Oh, fuck. There's a dude over there. Okay, he's facing away. That's our chance. Let's go. Okay. Okay. And down. He's out of sight. Okay, this way. Let's get in. That sounded like a camera. Or maybe not. Twisted again. Harder than 
worker. I'm not in a hostile area anymore. So it seems like it was just that you. bit. In view of the recent incident during which Militech security employees brutally maimed an NCPD officer, nine city policies requesting Militech's assistance in finding the individuals responsible. Okay, body was found. They're on alert. What do you even do? <laughs> okay, so they're both. Hey, not the anti search, no? Check B link, see what happens. Hmm. Fucking wire. So. How do I get in without them? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so he's gone outside. Can I grab you? Oh boy. The answer is no, I can't grab him. But I do need I do need to get in here. Let's go. Yep, perfect. Okay, now we're in hostile territory. Oh this scum! No more! Please stop! You got blood on my shoes! I'm sorry! Louder! Okay, Pearson Kumalo. Elliot Polk. I'm sorry! Polk. Okay, do you know what? Have I got a muzzle that I can put on my gun? Because I can definitely take him out in one hit. Uh, I don't. Muzzle, here we go. Uh, Put that on it. We'll use that. Hoping this I fucking killed him already. Fuck. Damn it. That is the last thing that I wanted to actually happen. Fuck. I was hoping I could kill him before he killed the other dude. I probably should have just Probably should have just gone with it. Oh, who else is shooting at me? Who else is shooting at me? I need to heal up. I really didn't want to do this loudly. I really didn't. Have we got anything useful in here? Monkey wrench. Do you know what? We're just going to keep... Oh, there's a dude here. Okay, let's see if I can... Uh... Actually, let's, let's breach. BD1C1C. BD 55 1C. Ah, oh, I fucked it up. Damn it. One. I completely fucked it up. And obviously, we're not, we're not gonna be able to try again, are we? Nope. Fine, overheat. Fuck. What are you? You're a big boy. Don't have any farm left. Don't break, break. I can't see anything. Okay, we got a chance to breach again, so let's let's just get this. 551 C 7A55. 551 C 7A55. Okay. Breached. I kind of felt like that was where this was going because I they were extremely strong.
But at least I know putting the silencer on doesn't doesn't give me what I want. I thought I could take them down in one shot, but they are a lot stronger than I thought they'd be. So I'm sorry, dude. I cannot save you. Come out. Oh Hands shit. Oh, lads, you're fucking kidding me. That is the worst checkpointing ever seen. So let's just let's just chill out, see if they stop. Okay, yeah, they're they're powering down. Which is good. Or they're, they're, well, not powering down, but they're chilling out. Which is good. Uh, okay, we're not getting through there. They've both got no affiliation. They're not military. Okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, they didn't see us. No more. Okay, we're just Please gonna breeze stop. past you. Camera. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, wow, this gets... This gets pretty cool looking the further we go down. Definitely in the right place. Where does this go? Camera. Turn off. Actually takes a lot longer to breach these ones than I thought it would. Oh shit. That's a dude. I can't take him, he's too strong. Since we've corporate dress. <laughs> okay. Crunch crafting spec. Shit, he's sitting down exactly where I need him not to be. Okay, distract. Get him moving. I need him to go somewhere else. Better check it out. Whoa, what way did he just turn? Still, just get it. That coffee machine is extremely loud. Okay, go, 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 go! Okay. Okay, got the data, no time to lose. Delta the fuck out of there. Don't mind if I do. Where'd he go? Okay, he's gone there. Can I... Yep. Close the door. Thank you. Ooh. Everything in here seems to be a higher level than I can currently wear, so. I'm wondering is this gonna be Oh hello. I'm wondering is this gonna be a, a quicker, easier fast way out of here. Fuck. Okay, I got it. I gotta just go. Shit. I don't know which way is out. But I gotta go. Okay, we gotta go. Fuck, he sees me. Okay, yeah, Dino, not a good time. Fuck me. I mean, woo! Get me on the edge of my fucking seat. Luckily, it's all over. I have a bit like a trooper flesh. I got the data. You're in the clear. Closing the gate. Okay, well, we got the job done, now I just need to get out of here. Yeah, he knows where I am. Let's go. See you later, guys. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 Yeah, see you later. Bye.
Oh, that's the police. Let's not run at them. Okay, well, that went down a little bit smoother than I expected, actually. I thought that was going to be a lot harder. I mean, I... Listen, I fucked it up by trying to be too clever and trying to take down a dude to save a guy, which ended up not really mattering in the end anyway. So, uh... Did we, did we just get money for that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay, so here's the shout then. Um, which of these is going to be the nearest to us? Um, let's have a look on the map. That's Hanako. The Glen, I think, is the closest. Oh. Well, I suppose we may as well just hit that one up. It's kind of the only side biz around. That isn't the fight. Um, oh, there's one there. I guess these ones have only popped up because we hit max, maybe? I don't know, maybe. I'm kind of making some assumptions there. Let's go hit that one up anyway. See what happens. Could be anything. Could be the Zen, um, the Buddhist monk guy. I I'm making the assumption that he's Buddhist. I could be way off the mark. <laughs> bobbing and weaving, guys. Bobbing and weaving. It's only a kilometer whoa, away, so it shouldn't be too hard to get there. No, we're not taking that turn. I thought we were, but we're not. We're actually taking this slip road. I actually don't know if they're called that in uh, other places. Here in Ireland, we call those slip roads. They could be called like overpasses or off roads. I, I don't off ramps. I don't know what they're called. We call them slip roads. There's a lot of bumping about coming from behind me, and I'm kind of afraid to look. I feel like I might be dragging something. Can we squeeze through there? Oh, probably shouldn't have tried, but we did it. Okay, almost there now. Whoa, slow down, boys. We're taking this left. Jesus, we squeezed through there. Probably shouldn't have. Up this way. Oh, do you know what? I feel like this is the one that never works. You know the one near where uh, Misty's was? Oh no, it's it's our friend. It's our friend, the machine. What the? What, fuck what are, you, are doing? you doing? I'm perfect. Satisfied with my appearance, thank you very much, sir. Please stop. You do fucking what? I could make you a cup of tea. How about groovy green? How about I just... I'm being defaced over here! You deaf? He asked you to do something, politely. Chill the fuck out. It's just an SCSM. Please, just leave me alone! I will shoot you. Do it for your mother. I know Helen's very worried about you. The fuck? How you know my mom? You know him? Not personally, but his mother sometimes drops by for coffee. She says I'm a great listener. Can't argue with that. You're talking shit about my mama? I'll Don't do fuck it. you up. Don't do it. Be chilled, all right? Brendan didn't mean anything by it. It's not in his nature. How could he mean anything? He's a fucking SCSM. And he's collecting data on my mom. It's called oh, having a memory. Pretty standard these days. Trying to be smart with me? Why are you defending him? This pile of rust collecting dirt on me for the fucking corpse, yo. Who knows? Maybe you're a corpo agent too. Oh, dude. Who the fuck you work for, huh? Thank you, V. I asked you not Boy, to. Boy, I was scared to my core. I thought he'd paint some mean things on me. The humiliation. Say, since we've been through so much together, I guess that makes us best friends. I guess that it does. for a discount. Thanks. Nice. Don't worry. You deserve it. You're one tough cookie. And yet, so... Nice. Not to everyone. Mm -hmm. I couldn't be mean even if I wanted to. 
Especially to you. Can't speak ill of the dead, right? Excuse me? Do you know? Wait, what? You're not supposed to be here. And yet, here you are. Like a glitch in the system. Or a demon coded by a brilliant... <laughs> oh, that's brilliant! You know what demons are capable of. Right, V? How do you know that? How, how did you know that? Surprised? Lots of people come to me. So, I listen to them and learn how they talk. I caught your name once or twice and pieced together the puzzle. Not bad for a CSM, right? Uh, how about... We'll talk later, all right? Catch you later, Brendan. Damn. Boy knows some shit. Can I actually use this? Oh, whoa. Yeah, they all have different prices. Look at the price change as I mouse over them. That's really cool. Wow, okay, that was definitely worth the side trip. Definitely worth the side trip. There was one other one that I saw pop up down here, wasn't it? No. Definitely saw one. That's a fight. That's a fight. That's a fight. I was so sure I saw one pop up. Animals Club. Ah, oh, there it is. It's out by the dam. So I think I'm actually going to fast travel that just because I'm slightly running out of time on this part. Um, and I want to just polish this one off before we hit the next one. So I'm going to run over, hit this fast travel and just get over there. Uh, the dam is here. Where we spent some time underwater with Judy. I actually really enjoyed that, uh, that whole sequence of being underwater and going back through Judy's childhood. I thought that was a phenomenal uh, experience. It was just wicked. Okay, hit me up, car. Where are you at? Other side. I will probably never get used to the side of the car. Because I drive and we drive on the left, I'm just... I will never get used to it. Oh, I was actually facing the right way. Whoops. I have no idea what to expect out of this one. It says danger very low, so I'm not expecting it to be anything particularly challenging. Considering we just pulled off a side gig that was considered very hard, I think we should be okay for taking anything on that isn't the fights that just require pure body strength. I think I'm driving right by here. There's a little, little road here. Is it? I think it is. Yep, it's the Zen Buddhist dude. Or the Zen master. There we go. Damn. Now I'm starting to that get is some these view. meetings. I sense you have many questions. I may answer only one. Oh, killing me, dude. Yeah, who are you? Who are you? And why do you keep disappearing? You can only ask one question. You cannot climb on two separate trees at once. Are you fucking serious? Cursing also cleanses the soul. Are you ready <laughs> for the final meditation technique? The last one? Yes. It will cost however much you want. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I can I can afford uh six hundred and ten euro dollars. Hope this'll do. I will guide you through the meditation. Okay, let's do it. This is a meditation of the air element. 
We are in the mountains, heading toward the peak. We squeeze between two boulders. On the first boulder sits an eagle. The spirit of the air passes through every fiber of this eagle. Spirit of the air, primordial wind, I send you greetings. We are of one blood, you and I. You are within me, and I am within you. Without you, life would not last even a few minutes. So vital are you to us. Oh, great spirit of the air, please. Cleanse my body and soul. Relinquish pain, sickness, the negative energy from negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, wisdom, knowledge. Strength, joy, happiness, and lasting inner peace. I am an eagle. The wind cushions my wings, caresses my feathers, enters every fiber of my body, fills the spaces of every atom and molecule. The wind cleanses the body, the soul, and the subtle body. Circling upwards, we rise up high. We feel lightness, purity, joy. Our body is filled with happiness, peace, and harmony. We thank you, spirit of the air with our mind, body, and soul. Okay, that's all four. And he's gone. Here he goes again. Those meditation things are really cool. He's gone. I'm really relaxed. Well, at least he left something. <clears throat> Fuck, oh, I feel dear. like a dog's shit. See that? There there was a Zen master here. Poof, vanished like that. The fuck are you talking about? He taught me how to meditate. It was kind of weird. Not my scene. Go and talk to... to Misty if it bothers you. Eh, good idea. Okay. Interesting. So Johnny <gasps> didn't shit. see any of that? Altar. Teachings of the Temple. Excerpts. And Beelzebub's Tales to his Grandson. That's really long. Doesn't seem to be too much important there. Let's have a look at these excerpts. Time and space. Interesting. I don't know what this altar thing is. Uh, backpack? Sort by new items. I have no idea where it's gone. It just went into miscellaneous. It's not junk, obviously. I don't know what it is. But we picked it up anyway. So maybe that will do something. Anyway, I think that's all we're going to have time for today. So I'm going to call the part here uh, with this lovely view. And we'll pick back up in the next part. Uh, hopefully the time will have passed and we'll get hit up by Nancy for one of the two gigs we're now waiting for her to contact us for. So until then, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again real soon.